Hello, my name is Rachel Kite and I'm your Dean, the Dean of the Fletcher School. Academic year 2020 to 2021 has been an academic year unlike any other in Fletcher's 88 year history. We've operated three teaching modes over the year with our students and faculty spread around the country and the world. Our staff have worked hard and under difficult circumstances to keep the Fletcher spirit alive and to keep the extracurricular activities that are such a large part of the Fletcher experience working even by remote. In the fall, we taught by remote in session format, adapting to the insecurity of operating in this mode for the first time for a whole semester and not wanting to cut back the course offerings. In the spring, adapting again, we taught in a hybrid mode, but with semester long classes this time. For the upcoming year, academic year 2021 to 2022, we continue to use scenarios to help us plan, but we expect that we will largely be back in person, though we will still need to cater and support students who may not be able to make it back to us at campus. I am so proud of the Fletcher School community. We managed our way through the pandemic as smoothly as we could. And we are all positioned now for the post-pandemic new normal, despite the fact that many of us have undergone losses and pain as a result of this pandemic. As the world comes together to manage risks in plain sight, as exemplified by this pandemic, and to spur a recovery that world leaders agree should lead to less inequality and greater sustainability, Fletcher is on the right road to play its part. Our students are well prepared to serve. Despite these difficult circumstances, applications for fall 2021 are up over 9.5%, representing the largest applicant pool since 2015. And enrollment looks really strong and the quality of applicants is superb. We also have a strong application pool for joint degree programmes, including our PhD in Economics and Public Policy with the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences and the new Masters in Cybersecurity and Public Policy, which is headed into its second cohort. With that in mind, I'm delighted that Professor Josephine Wolf has just been awarded tenure and together with Professor Susan Landau gives us depth and breadth in technology policy and cyber. Our PhD programme remains highly competitive and continues to grow each year, with applications up 15.5% since 2020. We have a strong PhD cohort. This past year, our PhDs were awarded competitive fellowships, the Eisenhower Roberts Fellowship, United States Institute for Peace, Minerva Peace and Security Scholar Fellowship, and the Harvard Programme on Negotiation, to name just a few. Our new degree, the Master in Global Affairs, following a soft launch in November of 2020, is showing real strength in its initial pipeline of applications. Shorter, more intensive, with more practicum, it suits people who know what they need to get out of their program, and with more flexibility, including a part-time option, it is adapted for the modern day reality of many of our potential students. We put value in diversity because the workplace demands diversity and those who can navigate through it. And so we continue to strengthen the diversity of our student body, which continues to comprise around 40% of international students and is showing the strong, stronger diversity in the backgrounds of those national students who come to Fletcher. Continuing to evolve our education and curriculum offers has been a priority for us this year ensuring that high quality teaching of an excellent curriculum that continues to embrace interdisciplinarity and can be delivered in different degree offerings to students at different junctures of their career is what we're all about. We are focused on ensuring excellence in all of our fields of study and deepening that excellence in fields we wish to be known for. We've streamlined our field offerings from 21 to 11 We've introduced 20 new courses this year on a variety of topics, including climate and migration, 21st century intelligence and national security, environmental humanities and global health, civil resistance, international law and migration, advanced field research methods, and the economics of climate change, to name just a few. 
We are introducing advanced courses in GIS and data analytics to begin to meet the demand for know-how as well as knowledge, following board advice to embrace the need for skills. And this is the message we hear from employers every day. Of course, the strength of the school is rooted in the strength of our faculty. Fletcher is an institution that allows our faculty and students to study international affairs in the broadest scope. We've pushed back the boundaries of international affairs to include human security, gender analysis, children and conflict, cybersecurity, sustainable development, and pandemic disease. Our interdisciplinary approach allows our students to tackle today's wicked and complex problems through multiple lenses. None of this is possible without a faculty that embraces that. Fletcher's faculty were awarded over $4 million in new and pending grants through this month, and they continue to lead in publications in service and in consulting on important platforms from the World Economic Forum to the United Nations, to the World Bank and other multilateral development banks, to the World Trade Organization, the Pentagon and NATO. With the advent of the new administration, Fletcher faculty are engaged in policy formulation as the Biden administration settles in, in addition to policy work with other governments, including China, India, the EU, the UK, Spain and Mexico. I was pleased to be able to testify twice to the House Foreign Affairs Committee, and the second time looking specifically at how climate change can strengthen the transatlantic relationship. Our students compete in and do us proud with big wins at national and international competitions. In national and international cyber contests, a student group called the F Society have recently won top prizes. And this year in space law competition, for the first time, a group of students competed in the Manfred Lachs International Space Law Moot Court competition, placing in the top 10 and beating out experienced law school teams. Our faculty and their research have made news throughout the year. From Econofacts insights into a roller coaster year of pandemic inspired economic turmoil, to work on the affordability of a global reference diet in a world where our food system is in crisis and where the multilateral system turns its attention to the pricing of food, to how AI transforms the battlefield and how we can understand the policy dimensions of technology used to track and trace in a pandemic, to the investment returns of energy innovation and the role of climate policy in refreshing the transatlantic alliance, to how the host countries of refugees and the displaced can integrate these non-citizens into their financial services infrastructure, helping them build their resilience. And finally, to the tragedy of the continued use of rape and starvation as tools of war. Fletcher has continued to push back the edges of each of our fields of study and the understanding of the world, as well as the principles upon which we can build it as it should be. Our faculty, of course, have also featured in leading journals and have forthcoming book releases. They constantly appear in the world's press. And we've built a database to track faculty publications and have added a current research feature to our main website. I do hope you will visit to see the current research going on at the school. We have continued by remote our long tradition of student-led conferences. And I've been pleased to see each of these conferences exploit all the possibilities of this new world of remote to bring perspectives from all over the world and to use new apps and technologies to enhance and strengthen participation. This year, the decolonization of international relations, conference has gone from strength to strength, the Gender Conference, Fletcher's Arctic Conference, the Tufts Energy Conference, the Political Risk Conference, and the Religion, Law and Diplomacy Conferences have all been strong and enriching. You, our alumni, have played a critical role this year. While I have missed being able to meet many of you in person, in clubs and in gatherings around the world, 
we cannot deny that Zoom has allowed us to bring more of our programming to you, our alumni, in, event, in events, virtual gatherings, salons and debriefs. We've continued to host the London and Taloa Symposia. And I invite you again to look at the virtual Taloa Symposium this year on June 3rd and 4th on preparing for the next big crises. On June 3rd, we will feature professors Josephine Wolfe and Chris Miller discussing cybersecurity and Russia. And on June 4th, we will feature Dean Emerita of the Cummings School and Fletcher Senior Fellow, Deborah Kachiva and Assistant Professor Nahid Bradelia, who will be looking at the issues of One Health. In our new normal, we will continue to look for new ways to communicate with the community of alumni and to offer enriching experiences. To that end, we are laying the groundwork for the growth of our executive education program. Last summer, we experimented with and introduced a new program, Fletcher Live. I have just finished teaching Fletcher Live course for this year, 2021, a super year of sustainable development diplomacy. It was a fantastic experience with a mix of alumni and others, senior diplomats, business executives and international organization representatives and NGOs. It's a way to package the riches of the Fletcher's faculty scholarship and curricula in new ways for our new audiences, building out our commitment that Fletcher is truly Fletcher for life. Please take a look at our exec ed. Top up for the summer, join in. Of course, the global economic recovery is top of mind in international cooperation this year. We are not on a recovery path yet in many parts of the world. And Fletcher has its challenges too. But again, you, our alumni, have been outstanding. Annual fund participation has been strong and we are on track for a successful year, but there is always more work to be done. If you've made a gift, thank you, thank you. If you have not yet made a gift, please do so to support this amazing crop of current students. Our students also need your help with securing internships and jobs. Much of that market went sideways in the last 12 months. Over the next few months, we'll be rolling out a new platform to support your engagement with students in this vein. Please take a look when we roll it out and please get involved. I have been Dean for 18 months, more of them online than in person. But I'm pleased that we've been able to use this crisis as an opportunity to drive the school forward towards a new normal of flexibility, affordable, excellent applied education, and deeper scholarship in the fields of study we want to be known for. The complexity of the challenges facing the world with a stuttering multilateralism overlaid with a new great power rivalry between the US and China, with the EU seeking a values-based international order in the middle, vigorous populisms in countries as diverse as the UK, the US, Brazil, India, and Russia, and with the danger of a great economic divergence upon us that threatens to make the most vulnerable even more so. And in an era of climate impacts and rapid digitalization, I could not be more proud of this community's commitment to the global leaders we need tomorrow, moving through our corridors and our Zoom boxes today. And I could not be more grateful to you for your continued passionate support and your engagement in ensuring that this school always sits on the forefront of interpreting and understanding a world at warp speed, but where the long trajectory must always be towards greater peace and justice. Thank you, stay safe and stay well.